Hello, my name is Chris, and today we're going to take a quick look at how to display data with a bubble chart using Microsoft Excel. First, select the three columns of numbers in your data set. Then go to the Insert tab on the menu bar and click on the XY scatter plot icon. A drop down menu will appear and choose the bubble chart. And just like that, Excel creates a bubble chart for you. Next, add the title as well as change the font size which in turn makes the bubble chart larger. However, the title alone will not help people understand what kind of information this bubble chart shows. First, we need to label the vertical and horizontal axes. Click on the Chart Design tab on the top. Then, on the top left-hand side, you will see the Add Chart Element icon. Click here and then choose Axis Titles. Then you have the choice between the primary horizontal or the primary vertical. Let's start with the primary vertical or the Y axis, which is the sales volumes for the different fair trade products. The horizontal or X axis is the total production of the different fair trade products. The circles represent the difference between these two variables, the amount of unsold fair trade products in metric tons. Now for some formatting. Double click on the Y axis, which will open up the formatting dialog box on the right hand side. Let's add a solid line and increase the thickness of this line to two points. Also, let's add some tick marks here to help people understand the different sales volumes. Now let's work on the horizontal or the X axis. But first, the bubble chart is a little difficult to read because the scales on the X and Y axes overlap. Double click on the horizontal or X axis and go to the axis options. We will change the minimum number from minus 200,000 to zero. Now that looks a lot better. You might be wondering why the minimum number on the Y axis is minus 100,000 considering that there are no negative numbers in our data set. Minus 100,000, however, allows for a full circle to be drawn for this product. If the y-axis was set at zero, this product would only have a half a circle, which would create some confusion considering that the volume of the other unsold products is represented with full circles. Let's make that x-axis a little easier to read by once again adding a two-point solid line along with tick marks. All right, things are starting to look good, but we can make them better by adjusting the size of the bubbles. Click on any bubble, and in the formatting dialog, we can change the scale of the bubble from 100 to 60. Now that's much better, and people can more easily see the different fair trade products. Now it's time to format the bubbles. First, I'm going to change the color of the bubbles to an earthy color, which is more in line with fair trade products. Also, adding a one point solid line border will help people distinguish the different fair trade products from each other. Now, let's go back to the Add Chart Element icon and add some data labels to the bubbles by going to the end of the list to More Data Label Options. By default, the data label will be the Y value, or in this case, the sales volume for the different fair trade products. But we want to use the names of the different products. So uncheck the Y value and check value from cells. You will see a prompt box where you can click and drag over the column that has the names of the different products in your data set. And finally push OK. Now you have the names of the products near the bubbles. But in many cases, you will want to move them around by simply clicking on them so that people can clearly read them. Finally, we can use a color gradient to highlight the differences in the amount of unsold fair trade products. One shade for products in the hundred thousands, another shade for three hundred thousands and four hundred thousands, and a nice dark coffee bean color for the highest unsold product. Once again, I'm using darker colors to draw people's attention to the most important information in the chart. 
Now we've successfully created a bubble chart that guides people's attention to the key information in the data set, which in turn will help them make data-driven decisions.